All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Gerald Johnson My Career. We are going to play our last game of the regular season. In the next episode, I will, you know, show you all the awards and stuff, just like we did last video with Cedric Lewis. If you guys haven't checked that video out, go ahead and check it out. It was a crazy game. I base, I, br I think I have now the second most points scored in playoff history with Cedric Lewis behind Michael Jordan. So be sure to go check out that video. It was a banger. Anyways, here we are. Going up against the Sacramento Kings in our last game of the season. The real last game is against the Hawks. Um, but we are 65-12. and 12, By far the best team in the league, that is. The second best team in the league is the Nets, who are 10 games behind us. Followed by the Warriors and Lakers, who are tied for first in the Western Conference. So we have already clinched the first seed. It just depends on who we're going to be playing in the playoffs. And right now, it could go anywhere i mean the hawks could end up winning four in a row the heat array are fifth seed they clinched that along with the, they can fight for that so it's really between the hawks celtics and magic i think the hawks or the celtics would be a sick matchup to start off because you got kemba walker jason tatum jalen brown or the hawks when you got uh, me versus trey young so we're most likely to be facing the hawks in the first round who is our last game of the season but we're focused on the kings right now De'Aaron fox is having a great year they are currently fifth in the, their conference, so they're actually in the playoffs. Anyways, let's get into this game. Hopefully, we can win five in a row so we can win 70 games to end the season. All right, here we are in Sacramento for this game against the 45 and 32 Kings. They are actually in the playoffs as the fifth seed in the West. You can even see their standings. They're only they're two games actually ahead of Dallas, so they're sitting pretty, to be honest. They're, I think they've clinched the playoffs at this point. So that's that's cool, actually, that the Kings are making the playoffs. Led by De'Aaron Fox having a crazy year. Um, there is the key matchup. Gerald Johnson, 30 points, 11 um, assists, 5 rebounds. De'Aaron Fox, 23 points, 4 rebounds, and 7 assists. Going up against each other, the key matchup of the night. Let's get it. They're starting Hassan Whiteside. I'm not sure if Bagley's off the bench or hurt. But Hassan ends up winning the tip. On the fast break after the the De'Aaron Fox miss. I give it up to Harold for the mid-range. And he knocks it down. We are currently up by four after a buddy heel three. I'm going to call Larry Nance for the screen and see if he can set it. And I threw up the lob, but he got pushed by Jabari Parker. Now, they're on the fast break. Buddy healed, gets the layup, and now it's a two-point game. Is it just me or the font's different on the scoreboard? Like our font compared to the Kings font. I swear they're different, but step back, pull up. It's a brick. I... Apparently, with the jump shot I have, I need to shoot it late in order for it to go in. Oh, yeah. No, those those um fonts are definitely different. You can just tell by the three. Um, I really thought I wanted to pass the Harold, first of all. And I thought he was going to cut to the basket. Okay, De'Aaron. Damn. There we go. Harold's wide open. You fade it away. You hit it. That's that KD in you, isn't it? All right, I'm getting subbed out. It's a tie game. We're currently up by three. I'm liking how it's a close game, and Marvin Bagley is healthy. He's just playing off the bench. And I guess Hassan's a higher overall than Rashawn Holmes, which is completely wrong. Rashawn Holmes should be a higher overall, but you know how 2K is. For some reason, Hassan is always a somewhat high overall. I, oh, there's nine seconds left. I got Bialinsa on me. So this should be barbecue chicken. Oh, oh, oh. And plus, I made it. I made that. Review that. I definitely made that. I took a bit too long. I kind of forgot how much time was left on the clock. But let's see. Oh. Am I going to be able to see the replay? Call over turn. So does it count? It counts. I didn't even get to see the replay. I guess I skipped through it. Up by five going into the second. With the minute and a half already gone to the second quarter, we're currently up by 11. I only got nine points. So, I mean, I'm not backpacking like I have to do with Cedric. Because this Cavs team's actually good. But they got Harrison Barnes in the post on Garland. They're not giving it to him. They did, Rashawn Holmes did not want to give it to him in Garland fouls. By the way, we've shot 18 free throws. The Kings have only shot four free throws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm correct. That's kind of ridiculous, to be brutally honest with you. But, I mean, we're, we're winning by double digits. It's not a blowout. The reason why, I mean, we're kind of winning by double digits is because the Kings have their bench in the game as Hassan makes it a nine-point game. But, yeah, they had their bench in the game, and we essentially have our starters in besides Garland and Okoro. So, that's the main reason why they are losing a Coro and one. He's going to make it now, I think, 19 free throws attempted. 
in this first half already. Oh, the Kings got their starters back in the game. Yep, with De'Aaron Fox and Buddy Heald. Are back in the game. They're down by 16, so... And Buddy Heald wide open for the three. He missed. Drummond definitely pushed off on that rebound. Can you pass the ball? I'm gonna give it up to Larry Nance Jr. And I love playing with Larry Nance Jr., bro. If anyone's gonna make me say on this team, it's that man right there. All I do is just throw lobs him in the paint. He is so fun to play with, and we're now up by 18. Give me that. Give me that steal. I read that perfectly, and I'm going to throw it down, giving us a 20-point lead. I almost stole it off the inbound, too. Darren Fox down the court. I really hope they end up coming back at some point because I don't want another blowout, man. I already changed the sliders. Buddy healed wide open again. It's off. I have my takeover, and I'm going to just... Why did I move forward like that? Return, I don't know why he stepped like six feet forward, but it is what it is. Oh, Drummond just committed his third foul and they're all reachings. Why are you reaching? Especially on Hassan Whiteside of all people. That's just not good. Now he's in... Actually, we got Jared Allen off the bench. So actually, it's not that big of a deal. Even though Drummond's like a god in 2K. We got Jared Allen off the bench, so we'll, we'll, be, we'll be chilling. We, this team's got plenty of big... Buddy healed with the green... Cuts it back to a 19-point lead. I right, just cut me off there, bud. I'm not sure if I made a single three this game. Well, let's change that. There we go. Um, I actually want to check. Is that my first three of the game? That is. I'm one for three on the day. Yikes. Uh, I have no idea what the Aaron Fox is doing right now. He's just running out the clock. I thought he was going to hit that, too. We were going back and forth, but I guess, you know, we just decided, ah, eh, let's just run off the clock. We also have seven, 20 rebounds to their 10. So that's probably a big reason why we're almost up by 30 right now. We're currently up 68, 48. The Kings, for some reason, oh, no, Buddy Heels in the corner. I thought he wasn't, and how do you miss that lob? Well, there's around two minutes left. Here are the power rankings. Yeah, we're sitting at number one. The Heat are number 10. You know, that that's just nice to see as a Heat fan. We're starting to turn things around a bit. Um, we're on like a four game where I say that as I'm a part of the team, but I'm not part of the team. Um, okay. Marvin Bagley didn't bite on any of that, but yeah, it's nice to see the heat to actually start doing good. Um, they keep fouling, bro. We're in the bonus now, bro. I swear this has been the longest second quarter of my life. It feels like I've been playing the second quarter for decades now. Uh, Kevin Love, why? I don't understand why they slide behind the defender when he clearly wasn't even behind him, but whatever. We're second in the NBA in turnovers as Buddy Heald Greenstein cuts it to a 17-point game. It's only a minute left in the second. This has been the longest second quarter of my life, bro. I swear to you. The Aaron Fox is now, you know, just magnetizing to me. And another turnover. Give me that back. Nope, of course not. Figures. All right, and here comes Buddy Heald, and that's a bucket. 15-point game. All right, about 17 seconds left. We got the ball. Back up by 17. I call in an ISO. Yeah, 10 seconds. We're, we're having a pretty good game. The, they, you know, started a little comeback. I was a bit scared, ain't gonna lie. Five seconds left. I'm gonna go right to the rack. Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, we didn't even get a shot. Oh, Kyle Sexton got the shot off, but it doesn't matter. 71 to 54 going into the half. Oh, I'm getting subbed out. We're up by 18. And we're up by 27. All right. Well, our bench did their job, apparently. Um, I got Buddy Heald guarding me. It should be, honestly, a bit barbecue chicken. I'm going to go for the fadeaway. And it's buckets. I have 31 points, 5 rebounds, and 9 assists, giving us a 19-point lead. I did that math awful. Did I say we were almost up by 30 at one? Yeah, I did that math terrible. But he healed for the 3, and he knocks it down. This is what I like to see. Two and a half minutes left in the third. Let's go. The Kings have a little bit of fight left in them. I'm going right to the rack. That's easy. They got no defense at all, apparently. Ten seconds left. I just turned the ball over. Up by 17. Buddy healed in the paint. He has been balling so far in this game, especially this third quarter. He cuts it to a 15-point game. I passed it to the wrong person, but it might work. Harold Johnson with .2 seconds left dunks it, giving us a 100-83 to point lead entering the fourth but the kings were have been rallying back to cut it to 14 at one point so this game's far from over 10 seconds left we're currently up by 24 points yeah obviously the game's over i mean yeah. are they gonna come back in five they're gonna try and score aren't you aren't you Corey joseph you're gonna try and score bud you ain't gonna score 
We're going to walk out of Sacramento with a 129-105 victory over the Kings. I ended up dropping over 50 points. I didn't really talk this fourth quarter because they, they had no chance of coming back. Which we move now to 66-12 and 12 on the season. Four more wins, and we will win 70 games a season. So we basically have to win every single game. For the Kings, Darren Fox, he was in foul trouble for most of the games. Only played 28 five minutes. But he had 32 points and six assists. That's it. Um, 27, uh, 27, yeah, hey, all right. Two for seven from three. Yeah, five fouls. He actually, he played all right besides the foul trouble. Buddy Heald was a monster this game. 28 points, six rebounds, and four assists. Four for seven from three. He hit a lot of big shots, especially in that third quarter. He got it to 14 points twice, but we had too much firepower. Other than these two, literally no one helped. Marvin Bagley had nine points. He had five steals, but he was four for 14. Halliburton had nine off the bench. Like, no one really helped them. For the Cavs, 53 points, 7 rebounds, 15 assists, a steal, and I blocked Hassan Whiteside. Um, I did commit 7 turnovers, 19 for 30 from the field, 6 for 10 from 3, 9 for 10 from the free throw line. You know, Gerald was balling out. Larry Nance Jr., 14 and 5 with a block and a steal. Harold only had 13. He only played 25 minutes, though, so. Um, Jared Allen, 11, 5 and 2 blocks. Colin Sexton, 10, 3 and 3. It was, it was really the Gerald Johnson show dropping 53 points. But that's going to be for me. Be sure to leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. Be sure to wait for next episode for Gerald and we will get into the playoffs. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.